Hello, and welcome to <laughs> my five on the DWTT channel. I'm Gary, and uh, I know it's a little late, but I'm just going to talk a little bit about the Olympiagos game. Um, let's put a little better heading up here, because first we're going to get into the game, and then we'll get into my five, which you got a sneak peek at. Anyways, so let's first get into the game and just to talk about that a little bit. So um, first off, you know, look at the lineup and, uh, you know, first thing you notice, uh, I guess, or you notice is that, um, you know, Sack is out, which is expected. Uh, Bellerin and Tyranny is sitting out there on the, on the wings or fullbacks. And, uh, you know, Cedric must be resting for, you know, the next game. Uh, Parte is out, it's probably expected because he needed some rest. And then uh, if you look, uh, you know, so you look at that midfield and you've got uh, the pairing of <sighs> Jacques and Elneny, and that just doesn't give much uh, confidence in that, for me anyways, that uh, it's going to work out. I know Jacques works really good with, with Parte out there, but when it's just him and uh, one of the other players, it just doesn't give us that well, same confidence. And, you know, things are going to be a little bit iffy there. Um, you know, then you've got uh, Sabayo, Smith, Rowe, and Pepe kind of uh, right behind Aubameyang. So you're hoping that Aubameyang, after his last game, you know, with the being late and not playing, would come in and be ready to go. Maybe get some goals. The bench, of course, is always strong. Uh, you've got uh, Marie, uh, Partey, Erdiger there, Martinelli, Lacazette, and then Kedia. And you're hoping maybe Martinelli will get some game, game time today. Um, so, you know, all in all, good game, uh, good, uh, you know, decent lineup for what we have, but it does have some glaring holes, and uh, against this team, you know, we could uh, get punished for it. The game, you know, since uh, Olympiago's one by one, so it didn't really mean much in the grand scheme of things, but it would have been nice to come out and have a, have a good game. I would have liked to have seen us kind of win, you know, don't like losing at all, but, uh, you know, this is, if you're going to lose when you have a three goal uh, way uh, advantage, then this is the way to do it. The game was, um, it's actually, initially I was going to say it was in slow, but actually we had opportunities to score, multiple opportunities to score, and multiple opportunities were missed. Uh, most, you know, I guess you could say couple, couple by Pepe, uh, but the the most glaring ones are the ones by Bamiyang, because you expect him to score, and you know, as tough as they might be, He's a striker, and that's what he's supposed to do. That's why he's on the field for and when he's missing, you know, chance after chance after chance, and you have to wonder what's going on there. Is it something mental? Is it something physical? Um, I know it's not, you know, the early part of the year he seemed to be struggling, and now he's getting opportunities and still struggling. I don't know what to say about two of those chances where it was him one-on-one -on -one with the goalie in front of him, and he just didn't even, he didn't even pepper the goal. You know, the goalkeeper didn't even get an opportunity to make a, make a play on the ball because the ball just wasn't anywhere, you know, near him and and, and missed the goal entirely. So, you know, two of, shot, two of the shots by Pepe, both deflected, one by uh, Mustafi, sorry, one by uh, Socrates, <laughs> Papa, and then the other one uh, was uh, off of Smith Rowe's face. And uh, Smith Rowe actually took two balls to the face on shots one he hit, into uh into papa and uh, one pepe hit into his face so all in all kind of a bad day for him in that sense that the ball just wasn't nice to him uh, like i said we'll take the we'll take the um, aggregate we'll take the win over the two legs but i would like to see us play a lot better coming in um you know i think uh, if they commanded the ball i mean they were able to get the score uh, to kind of put a little bit of pressure on us, but really and truly they never can were able to continue and do that to us for the rest of the game. I mean, they had chances, but not, not enough to um, threaten us. Uh, we brought on, you know, we went to our bench, we brought on Martinelli, we brought on Erdiger, I think, and uh, Erdiger, and, uh, you know, we looked like we were threatening there, but still could not uh, get, you know, fight through. I mean, Martinelli looked like what I thought he would look like when he comes on just ready to go you know engines at 100 miles per hour ready to go and uh, he looked like it he made a really nice pass into uh, Bamiyang who tried to make a little shot with his um, 
within his uh, left foot, I believe it is, and just couldn't get it past the goalie, and then was able to get the ball back, and then his overhead kick uh, just didn't go. But, um, you know, initially I thought he missed that, but it actually was a nice, it was, you know, the, the shot was coming behind him, so he made a, an attempt to go wide, and uh, just wasn't able to um, put it, you know, get it there. Uh, but like I said, he had opportunities, and I would have liked to have seen him finish at least one of them. Uh, I know it's, you know, many will say it's not, uh, you know, strikers don't always make every shot, but, you know, you expect them to, you know, at some point you do. When do, when when is it, when is enough is enough in terms of, you know, missing shots? I mean, I think we kind of saw that. Um, so let's uh, get into uh, my five, and then we'll go from there. All right, so now you can see my five out there. And we'll start with a Uh I th a lot of this is kind of my initial thoughts, and then kind of how it played out for the rest of the game. Um, his first touch that he had was a little bit uh, iffy, and then it looked like that was going to be the game, and I was hoping not, but that's the way it did. Um, his uh, first attempt on goal, you know, the ball was passed through on to him. Um, I think it was uh, Ceballos uh, gets the ball into him. He's, he looks straight ahead, and all he sees is the goalkeeper and two sides of the goal. Pick one. Yeah, he was not able to do that, and uh, basically kicked it straight over the goal. I'm not sure where he was going with that. I mean, he picked one of the sides. Maybe, maybe it goes in. Maybe he makes the goalie move. Either way, uh, had opportunity there. And then uh, later on, Odegaard makes a pass and opens him up in the middle of the midfield. And uh, he, go, he goes in one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper and tries to uh, chip it with his, with his, uh, I think it was with his left foot over the goalkeeper. It just is off. Um, and then later on, like I said, Martinelli gives him a pass inside and uh, he tries to make a shot. doesn't work out. gets another attempt and kicks it over the goal. I mean... Those were some of the big chances that he missed there. Uh, on defense, I would have liked to have seen him play a little bit more with energy there. He seemed to be just walking around. Uh, kind of, um, for me, I thought he uh, just wasn't, his head wasn't in it. Barely, you know, definitely on the offensive side because he seemed to be there for the opportunities. But on the defensive side, just not there. And I would like to have seen that, especially in a game like this one. Um, so, eh, like I said, a Bamiang had opportunities to score, just wasn't able to. Um, you know, we're hoping to see more from him, and we just didn't get that as the captain. Next up, um, I went to go into Mills Rufro. Like I said, uh, my well, like I said in my notes here, the first thing I thought was he uh, seemed a little quiet there. Um, he did. Um, he did take a shot, like I said, uh, and uh, you know if it doesn't hit, uh, <laughs> doesn't hit the defender, it, you know, and it hit him in the face, it probably, you know, it's a good attempt on goal. I mean, it seems like a lot of the shots that we took, um, which seemed to be on goal, just were deflected, um, some by the defender and sometimes by us. Um, I would say for him, most for kind of a quiet day for him, and I, you know. Just didn't give he didn't give me enough um, as far as you know what I wanted to see from him in the game and then maybe that's for the company that he was surrounded by but uh, it just didn't seem like a, a good game for him. All right, next up uh, we've got Bellerin. Uh, not his fault for the goal, but he was kind of right there for it and basically you know was just caught out by a really bad play and I'll get into that later as you know who did that um defensively he looked okay to me um on the goal you know likewise the goals come from his side and that's not on him this time but it just means that he has to be a little bit more cautious when he's coming up the field that he doesn't uh you know on a quick counter that he's out of position um we still should have stopped it uh but we didn't um you know, I, I like Cedric better, I guess, so I'm just going to play my favorites. I think Cedric brings a little bit more, and I don't feel as um, threatened when the defense comes up. And maybe, you know, because he plays a little bit more less, you know, Cedric plays a little bit less up the field. Sometimes he will drop back, and, you know, I don't see that as much from Bellerin. So that's just what I see. 
All right, next up, um, I think next up we're going to get into uh, Sabios. Um, not sure why I picked him, but I, I did pick him, and it's probably a good thing. I mean, he, you know, to start the game, I thought his control was a little bit off. Um, you know, initially I thought the game was quiet, but when I did a review of it, then, you know, I did see a lot of good movement from him up the field. He made a couple of passes uh, for for shots, uh, one to Bamiang and one to Milshev Rowe. Um, but the one thing, the one glaring mistake that came out is the when he just lost the ball going through the middle of the field and it turned into a counterattack, which ended up with a goal. Uh, I don't know how he just lost the ball. It wasn't as if he got knocked over or anything. He just seemed to just tr trip over the ball. It looked like I uh, started the counter for the other team and then they were in and you know, they got the ball to their striker, and their striker didn't, you know, put a shot on goal and it deflected in. Um, would have liked to have seen either one of our center backs come up and uh, attack the ball as it was coming in, as opposed to just sitting back and letting it get closer and closer. Uh, ball came off of Gabrielle, and, uh, and Leno had no ch chance, because if, if he hadn't deflected, he probably would have been able to stop it. But uh, once the deflection happened, it was just no way. Um, so, yeah, like I said, Ceballos, he had some, he had some ups and he had some downs, so it's kind of hard to rather him be a little bit more in the center, so, you know, his range be a little bit closer to each other, so that there's no, there's no, um, peaks and valleys in his game. All right, so, and last, but not least, is Pepe. Um, once again, in the start of the game, I think his touch was a little loose, um, but he uh, kind of built into it, and like I said, you know, he was able to make one of the, you know, the, the, a nice pass through. He seemed to be threatening. It was funny because I didn't think he was like that, but he definitely was. Um, I just think sometimes for our team, when we just don't have the right combination out there, you can. It's hard to tell who who's looking good and who doesn't. Um, he uh, made a, a really good play, right where um, pass ball came through he was able to get a get a foot on it um, and get past the goalkeeper and then he makes a shot you know and initially I was like was he passing that or was he shooting that either way um, if it doesn't get deflected on the legs of Mustafi um, or is it Mustafi Olympiagos I, I get all confused now with who's where and what um, but um, off, <laughs> off the former Arsenal player and um, it's on the outside of the post, and uh, you're just like, are you kidding me? How in the world does that happen? Uh, if that ball goes, it deflects out to the to the left a little bit more. Bamiang is coming in, and maybe he gets a foot on it. Uh, but you know, he looked real. That was a really good play that he had there. Um, then he comes back on the uh, later on in the game, gets a really nice shot, takes it. And he hits it off the basically the face of Emil Schroeder. I mean, a really good shot. If you, you know, I think if it, if he um, if the Emil Schroeder was in there, it probably you know at least is on on target. Uh, but it didn't make it there. All right, so that's kind of my five. Kind of looked at it, and the reason why I kind of picked them because I was expecting to see some a redemption from Bamiang. I wanted to see Mills refro back in the middle and see how he was going to do. Uh, I don't think that happened as much. Bellerin, you know, just kind of that Bellerin Cedric combination and uh, Ceballos in that midfield, seeing if he could, you know, earn his spot, you know. And like I said, his range is a little too, you know, his performance range is a little too wide, and that's probably one of the reasons why he doesn't play as much. Uh, Jaka, his range is a lot shorter in terms of good and bad. Uh, he does have his blips, like they both do, and um, but uh, it's uh, I guess it's something that Arteta can is comfortable with. And then it was also happening, you know, hoping to see Pepe kind of uh, show that you know he's he maybe earns a starting spot in this team, and you know he had some good spots, but he just doesn't he doesn't um, doesn't show me as much as when we have that lineup of uh, Emil Schurfro, Erdiger, and Sacker. So. Right now, I think he's still on the bench. Um, like I said, when Martinelli came on with like 10 minutes left in the game, he was threatening. He was attacking the goal and putting crosses in. So I want to see more of that. Uh, I want to see more of that. All right.
Um, I think that's it for my analysis. Um, hope you enjoy uh, my five. And uh, I will uh, give you these words. And um, say, come on, you gunners. And uh, leave you with these words. And life is a journey. Don't waste the trip. Enjoy the ride. All right. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.